Welcome back everybody. In this video, I'm gonna show you a little bit of Martin Dyes Junior State Park, and we're gonna take a hike on an island. I knew they were gonna do this. It's a pretty big park, and it's two sections that are divided by Highway 190, which is a little unusual. The hen house camping area is on the south side of 190, and then the northern camping area is the Walnut Ridge unit. And they have a large area of the paddling trail. Oh, and there's the Cherokee unit too. Hmm. Oh, that's where the boat launch is. I've, I've passed this park a hundred times. I've just never stopped in here. And there we are. <laughs> We're going. Here are the poodles panting. Everything's covered in leaves, so it's kind of hard to see things. The last of the leaves have just stopped falling. This is January, and they really take a long time to fall in Texas. It's not like it is up north where the leaves start falling and they're done in a week. Here's the camping area of the hen house. Let's see. A lot of them are right on the water. We're going five. Had a 201 to give you a perspectives. That's 190. That's the one of the bridges over there. So these are right on the water. This is the Steinhagen Reservoir. 202. Boy, these are right. That's facing kind of northwest. You can see we've had some rain, which is good. So these are the ones on the outer side, and then the ones to my right that are all kind of in the forest. That's pretty, wouldn't that be a pretty sight? And these are, I think on this side right now, these are $16, there's 206. Look at that, isn't that pretty? <laughs> and you can hear that 190. That's a pretty view actually. There's the cabins, wow, those cabins are nice. A lot of these look like, these are all newly paved, definitely. So that's on the kind of little, little inlet, not on the main drag. That was the Hen House camping loop and to get to Walnut Ridge, you have to cross the freeway. There's a wood duck box right there. Neat. Pretty swampy. Everybody thinks Texas is all desert. No. There are alligators in this park. There is nobody up here. Oh, two. These are very nice large campsites. 504. There we go. Beautiful. Wow. There's 505. There's a little offshoot circle. I see there's 190. So Hen House is over through there. And they have a lot of pull through sites here too, if you need pull through sites. Direct trail out here to the water. It's probably pretty bright. That might be why there's nobody around here because the highway noise, I don't know. Definitely not a lot of people here. <laughs> Which is a shame. I mean, you think, you know, most people are camping in the summers in Texas when it's just miserable down here. It's so mosquito-y and so hot. And then you have this perfect camping weather in January and there's nobody here. I guess because everybody's back at work and school from Christmas. It's kind of a shame because this is really the perfect time to be camping in Texas. Oh, that's the park host. God, I thought it was a camper, but that's the park host. Wow, there are really not very many people down here. I mean, when I looked on the reservation, I think it was, hey, 100 and something campsites available. So there, it's a large camp, campground. These are in the 560s and these are up like a little inlet that are, would be much quieter if 
the freeway noise bothered you. 566, 61, 68. We want to do the island trail. They actually have an island here that has a trail on it. This is what I've wanted to do. I just smell something very important. It's so pleasant right now. This is really optimal temperature time of year to be camping here. Another big magnolia. Pretty cypress. We're going to go on the bridge. Let's see what this says over here. Water safety trail. Eddie. Okay, hunting. So we are, we've come across. So there's the, where we were earlier. Oh, I just tripped on a root. There's the hen house. And then we crossed the freeway. Came over to Walnut Ridge. And then those campgrounds that I showed you were kind of on this edge right in there. I can't point because I'm holding the dogs. And we've driven up on the back end here and we're going to go on that little trail on the island. Is that pitiful to be excited about going on a hiking trail that's on an island? I don't know, there's nobody here. Which is so nice. This is our first camping of the new year, 2023. Let's go on the bridge. Dun, da, da. Watch your toenails. Cute. A minute. No alligator so far. <laughs> Ooh, I see lots of little stuff jumping. Wow, this water, you can tell it has a lot of tannin in it. It's that really brown kind of coffee color. And the water, although it's might not be able to pick it up in the video, but although it's, you know, kind of brown, it's actually pretty clear. And I'm surprised it's kind of clear because we've had, you know, some rain. Okay. Here we go, Island Trail. Do, 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 do. Just go on the Island Trail. I think we're the only ones on the island. <laughs> well, I guess maybe that one other car, but I don't see them. Have to watch for alligators. Oh, so pretty. It's a pretty nice, large area. Emma, you're not going down there. No, sorry. Gotta stay on the trail. No trash so far. That's nice. These leaves are actually kind of dry. It smells good. I'm gonna show you something you might not know. See those little areas of light sheen? It looks like oil. People may think, oh, that's pollution from cars or whatever, and it's actually not. Oil does seep out of the ground, not as we know it, but it comes up out of the ground. Isn't that interesting? Every time I walk up on an egret, we scare them and they fly off. He was on that log right there. Look how pretty. It is beautiful outside. I think it's supposed to get to 71 today. January in Texas. Pretty nice. <laughs> oh, root, root, root. Watch the roots, Jennifer. Here's another wood duck box. Got the squirrel baffle. Huh. It's quiet. I know I keep saying that, but it's really quiet. Look at this giant magnolia. Wow. You just don't see these in more urban areas. I don't know. We're looking. We're watching for stuff. I do think we're the only ones out here. <laughs> I do think we're the only ones. Definitely the only two poodles. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. 
Does that say 1817? No way. 1879? What? No way. This is huge. Wow. That looks like... it. That is that old because you know what? Those are the sapsucker lines that have just grown out of this thing. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at that. That is crazy old and big. Oh, I hear a pileated woodpecker. I hear that little other squeak? I'm not sure what that is. That's a pileated. Then I hear another little squeak. Huh. Well, right now in January, all the winter birds are coming through. I just saw, I've seen the ruby crown kinglet. I've saw the, seen the golden crown kinglet. Yellow rumped warblers. All kinds of birds are coming through right now. Look at this one. Oh my God. Oh, something's flapping. These are huge trees. Those are, those are a couple of old growth trees. That's an old growth back through there. Oh my gosh. This is actually right across the same body of water from Magnolia Ridge. I did a video about it a year ago. And Magnolia Ridge, so from this island, Magnolia Ridge is up through that area on the opposite edge. Wow, these are a couple of big old growth trees. I really watch these roots. Look at this. Oh my god. I mean, just compared to Gemma, you can see how large this is. That is. Wow. Those are huge oak trees. Let's come over here, Gemma. Let's go look at this point. And you can't go down there. Oh, that's a, that's a big drop-off. <laughs> that's about eight feet. Of course, we have the moss again. Let's look north. Look at all the moss. <laughs> look at that. It looks like that Christmas tree icicle stuff. <laughs> it's pretty. Okay, we're going. <laughs> wow, this is really pretty back here. It's a very easy trail. The only thing I'd say is watch for the roots and they are not easily seen with all this leaf cover. You just have to really pick up your feet and be aware because you will go down really quick. Look at this. This is definitely an old growth pine. That's huge. <laughs> That's about four feet at least. Four feet across. Wow. Don't see them like this anymore. I see these roots. They're really, see right there? You just don't see that. <laughs> you have to really watch. Ugh. I've almost turned my ankle. I think this. Oh, pretty. Come on. You can get tangled up down there. Hmm. Came across an area I wasn't really sure if it was a trail or not. Now we gotta go through this. Oh man. Let's see. Hmm. It's kind of swampy swamp. Let's go around this way. Made it around. Pretty swampy. I mean, you can imagine the mosquitoes in the summertime. This is perfect right now. 
have to really kind of watch for other animals. Okay, this looks trailish. This looks trailish. Look at this. There's a lot of grapevine in this area. But did you know if you cut a grapevine, I can see it dripping. It's dripping right there. Oh, there it goes. If you're ever in need of water, I guess in a survival situation, you can put something under this to collect that water and it comes out of the grapevine. And it drips out of here for weeks and weeks and weeks. Wow, look at those holes from a sap sucker. And the sap sucker, you know, they make tiny little holes, kind of like, let me show you, like that. And those are even pretty old. But then for something to be like that, as big as a marble, <laughs> that has grown many years. And I hear that vine's dripping. I don't know if you just heard it. It's hard to hold us with the poodles. But that just dripped all the way down, right to there. Ooh, something just plopped in the water. I'm sure it was a turtle <laughs> and they heard it. Isn't that pretty? That's just so neat down in here. Look at that. I like it. I mean, I guess if you don't like swampy stuff, but I think it's really neat. Plus this big log. Oh, you don't think about that. I know they want to get in the water and mess around. You need a drink? Oh, look at them acting crazy. What are you doing? I think that's just leaves. I wish the turtles weren't so skittish. I just saw a whole line, about 10 of them. There's one more left right there, but on another log and they all jump off. They hear us coming. Okay, there's the bridge where we came from. Now we're gonna go on another big bridge. What y'all think about that? Okay, we just completed that loop. I think that was 0.8 miles, so it makes a nice complete loop. And then here's where we started. But then you can also go over here to the wildlife trail. Let's go check this out. We're getting hot now. <laughs> oh, look at this. Pleasant predators. Wouldn't you love to see a mountain lion? Neat. That's not a mountain lion picture though. That's a bobcat, right? That's a coyote. I would really love to see a black bear. Over hunting, yep. Still live in Louisiana, Arkansas. They may one day return here. I thought they were reintroducing them to this area. I don't know. We're going to go on this big bridge. Oh, oh, look how pretty. It's interesting, really. You can see where the pine trees are. The pine trees really, I mean, they mix, you know, but this Piney Woods area has, you know, just big veins of just solid pine trees. And then you have other cypress and other hardwood trees. They're not all just peppered in together. When you do have some areas that are peppered, but you have some areas where there's just, oh, that's a big one. <laughs> Mostly pine trees. Oh, I don't know what's down here. It could be boogies. I don't know. <laughs> Tim is being very careful with her little toenails. Okay, oh, that's kind of scary. Nice little place to sit down. And it's getting a lot warmer. It's about 70, it's in the 70s for sure. I'm gonna have to start shedding layers. Let's go walk. I know it's kind of, these spaces are kind of tricky for doggies. I know, Gemma. Just watch your step. Oh, there's a wide space. Be careful. It's 
kind of hard to see things before they move. <laughs> you know, you, you want to see something, but then by the time you're up on, they see you first, obviously, and they hit the water. Jupe, it's okay, come on. Well, we hiked for a long time. We never saw one other person. I guess that other car has got a kayak or canoe. Here, can you get a drink? I knew they were going to do this. Hold on. Got to get some water. Get a drink, Gemma. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thirsty dogs. You get a, did you get enough? Pretty clear. Pretty. Oh, Gemma, really? What? She's dragging. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, let me get you a of it. Okay, y'all. We'll see you next time. Happy New Year, everybody.